The digital revolution is one of the biggest global trends that is affecting the world that we live in. And it's a permanent trend which is set to stay and to intensify, and this will have a huge impact on consumers and businesses of the future. So mobile telephones and the internet have become essential everyday items. Technology has helped to speed up globalisation by connecting the world and breaking through physical barriers. And it's also very important for boosting innovation and helping with competitiveness. One of the biggest challenges is the fact that there are global digital divides. So advanced economies are much more competitive in their digital infrastructure and productivity levels compared to emerging markets. But digital divides are narrowing. So China is currently the largest internet user market in the world. And by 2020, India will have overtaken the USA as the second largest market in the world. And so the divides are narrowing, which will present huge opportunities in the future. The digital revolution is important for development and economic growth. So the internet contributes to economic growth by improving productivity and efficiency. It also gives consumers um, access to information and empowers them through knowledge and choice. So a recent World Bank report found that a 10 percentage point increase in high-speed internet connections leads to a rise of 1.3 percentage points in economic growth. Mobile telephones are also important for obviously helping the business environment and improving communications, but they can also help with trade and banking services and to narrow regional divides. Mobiles have actually helped to increase the number of internet users in many developing countries or areas where there's no fixed line infrastructure because consumers have been able to leapfrog fixed line services in order to access the internet. There are challenges though associated with the digital revolution. So there are obvious um, issues in terms of online fraud, cyber attacks and cyber terrorism. A lot is also very dependent on government policy and regulation of the markets but the opportunities the digital revolution um, will present far outweigh these challenges. Technology has helped to transform consumer behaviour and the way they communicate, and this will have a huge impact on the consumer demand in the future. So it's also very important for bridging age divides across generations, so we'll be seeing a generation of silver surfers in the future. Technology has also helped to spread the protests and revolutions that we've seen in the Middle East and North Africa. So we're seeing much more of a presence of an online politicised youth who are interested in social networking and blogging. And it's also very important in terms of flexible working and better work-life balances. And this will become more of a priority for consumers as they can essentially work anywhere and any time. So the consumer of the future will continue to expect uh, instant gratification and 24-7 connectivity and they'll be more interested in devices, so one device to fit all their needs in the future. The digital revolution is also important for businesses and the business environment generally. It's essentially helped businesses to go global and they're much more productive and more efficient. Outsourcing is a lot easier now because better communications means a significant reduction of travel costs. And the biggest opportunities for businesses are as a result of the internet. So consumer goods companies now have direct access to huge consumer markets around the world. And these are much larger markets than previously thought possible. And so e-commerce remains a huge opportunity for growth. So in the future, we'll be seeing an increase in the number of internet users. So there'll be 3.8 billion internet users by 2020. And 75% of these will be living in emerging markets. We'll also be moving towards near-universal mobile telephone penetration. So 95% of households in developed economies will own a mobile telephone and 85% of households globally. And this doesn't mean the end of opportunities for mobile telephone markets because consumers will be much more interested in upgrading to smartphones, more advanced handsets, as well as next-generation technologies.